How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Brave review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ultra Raker from the 1990 Brave Fighter Excaiser series. It's comprised of the twins Blue Raker and Green Raker there. Really fantastic looking box art. We get to see Ultra Raker kind of coming out of this explosion which is really cool. Um, you get the nice Space Police Kaiser emblem. A little bit of English. We get the X-Kaiser logo up there. On the back we get to see them in their toy form. We get to see them also taking on Thundergeist. A little bit of a bio on each character for Ultra Raker, Blue Raker, and Green Raker. They do combine in their um, vehicle modes too. But what's really unique about these combiners is the fact that each robot becomes one half of the combined mode, which is the first time we get our symmetrical docking, which is really cool. We'll see it later on in King of Braves, Gal Gygar, and even in Transformers Anime. But all right, let's take a look at the figures now. Here they are in their vehicle modes, and they don't look too bad. I mean, they represent exactly what we see in the show. Not too small either. I mean, you look at Blue Raker here from the side, and they're about a foot in length. To put them in their combined vehicle mode, you see the red tabs there. You just interlock them together. And there you have it. Rolls fairly nicely. You got some plastic wheels underneath. Could be a little better. Now, as far as some differences between the two molds, besides obviously the coloring, the top of the train, you see it the most. Um, you can see the difference right in there. And there are some differences when I, once I get them in the robot modes, which I'll feature a little bit later. But all right, let's look at them individually. Let's start off with Blue Raker. And I really like the fact that you can store their weapons and accessories in their vehicle modes. There's at least a spot for them everywhere. But Blue Raker does come with another piece, which doesn't really have a spot which is utilized in his robot mode in the combined mode um, I guess if you want you could plug it in there but kind of looks weird but even though you have a head in the back there that looks kind of weird too so and his other accessory pieces that he does come with is this kind of gun type shield which also becomes a shin guard for um, Ultra Raker you have the head and then he also comes with the larger gun there and as far as his vehicle mode is concerned, he's got some detail. I mean, you got this nice sticker, some panel lining, um, some paint apps here and there. You got the nice Kaiser emblem. And you also have die casts, which actually surprised me. When I got these guys out of the box, I was wondering why they're kind of heavy. But yeah, you got this die cast right all the way through here. To transform them, really simple. You're going to unplug the front section there kind of just have it off to the side you can see that his arms are right there so you want to kind of unfold them like so take the front end of the train fold it down and then the next thing is you're going to separate the rest of the train and then kind of lifting these pieces up rotate it around and then just kind of fold those pieces back down extend out his legs and then take these black sections here. They're gonna plug in right there. Pulled out his feet. Down his waist piece there. Pop up his head. And we have Blue Raker all transformed. As far as articulation, um, the head can rotate around 360 degrees as you saw um, in and out, but just about to there in the shoulder and the arms. He does have a elbow joint and I guess a forearm um, joint there. Nothing in the legs, nothing in the waist. So that's all you get. Now this piece right here, as you can kind of see, he's kind of wide-legged and you, nothing really locks into place right here. That's where this piece comes in. To play, there's two holes right there. Just plug it in and it locks it into place. And it's also a place to store the head. give him the rest of his weapons and as far as size he's in that in between I guess deluxe and Voyager class I mean here's crosscut was a deluxe size figure so he's not quite a Voyager but um, close to it all right let's bring in Green Raker now. Green Raker here actually can house all his accessories and weapons on his vehicle mode, which is really nice. And he comes with the same molded gun type shield that Blue Raker has, but this time it's green. It does have the 
the chess piece to Ultra Raker, which actually has these pivoting wings, which is really nice. And then he does come with the smaller gun. And the detail is pretty much the same that we saw with Blue Raker, so I'm not going to really go over it too much. I mean, the top's different, but I've already showcased that. It does have the die cast to transform them exactly the same as Blue Raker, so unfold the front piece, fold down the front part of the train, kind of get the arms out of the way, and then separate the rest of the train. Folding it around, extend out his legs, and we have Green Raker transformed, as you can see, different head sculpt, um, bring back Blue Raker there, so you can see that. But everything else is pretty much the same. The front part, or the top part of the train now is showcased over here on the side. And just like Blue Raker, there's nothing that really connects them, or connects the two pieces together there. So that's where the chest piece comes into play. And it'll just plug into the back right there, which will lock his sides in. And then you can pivot the wings however you want them to be. Give him his guns. Articulation is the exact same as Blue Raker, so I'm not going to go over that. And there we have them. They are next to each other. All right, let's combine them now. All right, now we're going to combine the two into Ultra Raker. And for me, it's a lot easier if you just have them in their vehicle mode. And you'll see why here in a second. But we'll start off with Blue Raker here. You're going to separate the front again but this time it's actually going to lock into place right there like so take this piece fold it down again but this time we're going to take the front bottom section extend it down rotate it down extend out his hand and then extend out that piece and fold out his foot and heel spur so blue raker is complete do the same thing to green raker now And as you can see, where we're going to connect it at right there. And then all we need to do now is just add all the other combiner bits here. This will plug into the chest right there. Like so. And then you can move his the wings however you want them to be the head plug into the top piece there which again the die cast really makes it nice and um, heavy and now we will take Blue Raker's little accessory piece that he used in his robot mode and it's actually going to help keep them together in combined mode it just plugs in right there the guns actually combine there's a hole right there Plug it in on top. There we go. And then we have the shin pieces. And we have Ultra Raker. And not too bad. There's his head sculpt. And such. Articulation. He's got movement in the arms, in and out at the shoulder, elbow joint, and that's pretty much it. Nothing in the waist, nothing in the head. Um, a little bit in the legs if you want, if you just kind of unattach it right there. I mean, I guess if you want, you can give him a super kick. And, I mean, he actually does hold the pose. But that's about it. But not too bad. All right, let's take a quick look at some comparisons. Going to do it a little differently with Ultra Raker and compare him with some other symmetrical docking figures. So... Up first is Chil Ryujin from the King of Braves Gal Gygar series. And also from that series, we got Geki Ryujin. 
And unfortunately, we didn't get Ten Ryujin, which is the female combiner. Maybe a third-party company might um, tackle that project, and we'll finally get those figures. But as you can see, as far as size, they stack up nicely with each other, and it's really kind of cool to see it come full circle, being the first um, symmetrical docking figure in the series to the very last. And then my other comparison I wanted to kind of showcase is Safeguard here from the Transformers Animated Series, which utilizes the symmetrical docking system, but goes one step um, further and actually integrates the the combiner head into the individual robot modes, which I thought was really cool. So no more combiner kibble. But as far as Ultra Raker is concerned, guys, I definitely recommend picking this guy up. If you can find him for a decent price, I wouldn't hesitate. It's a fantastic figure. does have you know, quite a bit of accessory pieces that you have to have to utilize the combiner mode, which is the chest piece and the head piece. You do have the two gun pieces here, the shin guards and that white piece right there. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of white on him, so discoloration becomes a concern also. So just keep that in mind. But you can get this guy individually. You can get him in the two-pack, and he was not released by Sonokong, so you're looking at getting a, an original Takara. But... Um, definitely worth picking up. So that's it for Ultra Raker, guys. Um, thank you again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.